Hello and welcome to another video here at Hobbies and Happiness. My name's Dan. I'm Jim, and today we're going over the new TCG, Disney Lorcana. All right, if you haven't heard, Disney is making a trading card game. Um, I honestly- A competitive one. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> But My these <laughs> these are words, honestly though, Jim, these are words I never thought I'd say. Yeah, no. I never thought I'd say no, this. I'm not surprised And though. it is something that I've been looking forward to yeah. kind of for a long time. Um, I, to be honest, I kind of rail a little bit against Disney um, as a company, but you know what? I'm putting all of that aside for the history in the card game, honestly. And I think I'm excited. I am excited. So today we are talking about everything we know so far about the new trading card game, Disney Lorcana. Disney is getting into the, into the TCG market. And uh, honestly, they're, I think they're setting their sights straight on Magic the Gathering and they're not afraid. They're not afraid to admit it and show it. That's fine. Yeah, well, right, exactly. <laughs> I, 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 that is like exactly kind of what I said too. It was yeah. like, yeah. It's, it's Magic's right. not going anywhere. Yeah. Magic's not going anywhere. You might as well learn from <clears throat> the best, mm -hmm. right? And kind of copy. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna talk about uh, kind of like five things of we know so far. So so the what, the what is Disney Lorcana, right? It is the new TCG. Um, and who's making it? Who's making it? It's going to be Ravensburg. Ravensburger. <laughs> Ravensburg. So Ravensburger, um, they have, they're probably most well known, I think, at least in the Disneyverse, mm -hmm. for Disney Villainous. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen our other videos, we've done a lot of content oh, about Disney Villainous. You can check out our playlist up here of a lot of our Disney Villainous gameplays. I think they also do a lot of puzzles. They do, they do yeah, a lot of puzzles, lot but, of puzzles. But, but again, when you have the <laughs> Disney IP, there's so much you can do, yeah. and a lot of people are gonna gobble it up because it's Disney. Uh, ab absolutely. So yeah, they're they're they've done villainous in a lot of their different variations. You have Disney villainous. You got Marvel, also Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You know what? Before Star Wars came out, villainous has sold three million units. That's three million. So That's it's cl amount. it's clearly popular. Yeah. It is clearly clearly popular and. One of the best things that, I, one of the reasons, honestly, that I'm kind of excited for this, because initially, when I heard it was Ravensburger is doing this, I'm like, uh, dude, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> because you, if you watch our videos, you've seen so many times we've asked so many questions about the wording of the cards and yeah. things that they could have done better. So I was initially skeptical, very skeptical. But then I see one of the co-designers of Lorcana yeah. is Ryan Miller, a veteran of Wizards of the Coast R&D for 10 years. Yeah, so I mean, when, I mean, honestly, Jim, like what did you think when you initially saw that it was Ravensburger? Uh, so so for me, I was like, okay, it, I wasn't instantly thinking it was gonna be bad or mm -hmm. that it wasn't gonna be like super competitive mm -hmm. or it was just kind of a cash grab. Yeah. I was just like, okay, they announced it, let's see before I really make yeah. a decision on it. Yeah. That, that was my initial thought. Yeah. I, I just wanna see more before I can really say something. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that, but I, I was such a pessimist. I jumped immediately. I jumped <laughs> Dan immediately. Was like, Game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped immediate, immediately to like, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. this is gonna be so bad. Like, I, Cause I didn't wanna be disappointed. I really didn't wanna yeah. be disappointed uh, because, yeah. because how much I love TCGs. Yeah, when Dan was talking about it, I'm like, all right, well, We'll just see. <laughs> all right? like, let's wait till it comes out. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so we like, got. We're the, gonna play it. Damn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. And and even and even then, I'm just like, I know, I know we will. <laughs> so, so we got the who, right? We got yeah. the what. Okay. Now, kind of what they're making and how they're making it, right? We 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 kind of need to talk about their target audience. They're straight up taking on Magic: The Gathering. Yeah. They're taking on Magic and they're taking on the big three in the TCG and CCG yeah. space. Which you have to aim for. You like, gotta, you really like you do. gotta, you have to, it, whatever yeah. market you're going in, you gotta aim for the king. Yeah. You have got to aim for the king and they're straight away doing that. And they're not taking it lightly and they're taking, they're taking, it seems like they're taking very great care mm -hmm. in how they're approaching the market yeah. and they know what the market's like and they know where they think they're gonna fit into the market. Yep. So, so many things that I'm seeing, I'm like, I I'm very impressed with the standpoint of where they're t where they're starting off with this game, right? So from from a lore standpoint, it's very similar to Magic, right? From from the standpoint of you are what is called a a luminary, I believe. I'm sorry, you, you you're in the great illuminary, okay? Um, and you are an illumineer, okay? So you're an illumineer. We're the Illuminati guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
Boom, yeah, with the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> so you're an Illumineer, whereas Magic, you're a planeswalker, yeah. right? Yeah. Taking control of, you're on one of these planes for Magic, okay? But again, with this game, you're an Illumineer calling up, calling forth the magic of Disney you're a stories. You're sorcerer is what you are. Yes, you are a sorcerer, sorcerer. and you, you take control of what is called the glimmers, all right? And so we'll get into that in a little bit when we touch a little bit on the cards, okay? Um, so that's kind of how they're setting this whole thing up, okay? Mm -hmm. Casting a lot of these spells, okay? We've only seen one certain type of card so far, okay? So again, we have a lot more questions, yeah. but we know where they're starting. So they're taking great care. They know how competitive magic is. And they're like, okay, we see how competitive magic is, but that's not where we want to be. One thing that they they state they said in one in one of these interviews was like, if you think of chess as the highest competition level, we're like a few notches below that behind that because they're aiming for fun. They are aiming for everyone to have fun and a good time, but the strategy is there. So th again, and that's what you get with any TCG or CCG, yep. right? You're going to get that. So I think the framework will be set in place. And again, looking at these cards, it, it looks like they're heading in that right direction. Yep. So one thing that I noticed, and Jim, I want to get your opinion on this. After looking at this, okay, what I notice, I see the game of Magic, right? And so you can see how competitive it is, mm -hmm. right? And then we have the Commander format, which is a casual format, and it is the most popular format in all of Magic the Gathering. It is casual, and it is everyone wants to play it because they want yeah. it. They have the most fun. And that's where I see Disney Lorcana originally aiming. Yeah. Is that's where they're going yeah. because they're like fun. We're about fun. We're com competitive. Competition is going to be there, but we want fun. I mean, you kind of would you agree with that or kind of how would you? What would you think too? <sighs> yeah. In so, magic, in magic terms. Oh I yeah, guess. in magic terms. Yeah, it's it's definitely. I would think. I would say the most fun format, mm -hmm. but I do think that's partially because it is a multiplayer format of yeah. three or four players. You can even play more if you want. Mm -hmm. We've had eight man games, took forever. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so like, if that's the route you're looking to go, you don't want to be as competitive. You do mm -hmm. want to be more fun. I think going into that multiplayer format and even if they don't set it up, someone's going to come up with a, a decent setup for that mm -hmm. format. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and one other thing I was also thinking, um, you know, so we know that they're going to be doing a lot of original artworks for this. Which again, you're, you're it's a CCG TCG. Yeah. It's not surprising, but yep. it's great, awesome. Yeah. So and then it also makes it to where you know I'm going to want my theme to be Elsa, right? Mm -hmm. Spoilers. <laughs> Elsa going to be in the game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so like a lot of my card arts, I'm just going to be like, I really want to play her spells. I want to mm -hmm. be all set up in that, you mm -hmm. know, kind of like how they have in Villainous. All the cards yeah. in Villainous yeah. really go together yeah. because it's that movie, it's, so it's that villain. It and, makes a lot of sense. And if you've and if you've seen any of our other Villainous content, every time, I feel like every single time I play that game and even talk about it, mm -hmm. that's what I love the most about that game is I feel like I'm taking the role of that villain. Yep. And the flavor is so on point and that was what Ravensburger did so well. So Ravensburger working very closely with Disney to make those characters come to life. Yep. That is one thing I'm super looking forward to in this game, mm -hmm. right? And, and that's one of the things I love so much about TCGs and TCGs or just card games in general yep. is just them coming to life right before you. Yep. And it's, it's, it is a lot, a lot of fun. So and, yeah, we- And I'm pretty sure they're gonna be implementing that. Since they're saying a lot of original artworks, it's mm -hmm. going to be like you see Elsa throwing out a snow blast on mm -hmm. something, and who yeah. knows what it does? Could deal damage, freeze them, make it to where they can't untap on yeah. their turn, you know, yeah. whatever it is. And and the artwork that's been that's been shown so far mm -hmm. is has is amazing. Like I'm I'm yeah. It's clearly Disney, but it's also clearly original yeah. and done so so well. We'll get into that in a little I bit. Love this stitch artwork. Though the stitch artwork is so good. It is so great. It's so great. Um, but but again, talking about the the, the original artwork. Yeah. Again, one thing that they they did state is they said it's going to be the most original Disney artwork seen than in any single product yeah. ever created. Which again, not surprising because it's a TCG. But for collectors and especially Disney, it's the huge. Disney IP, it's huge. it's huge. This game. So we talked about how closely it's going to relate to Magic, but also I see a lot of correlations to Pokemon. 
so many correlations to Pokemon. And one of the reasons I think Pokemon has stood the test of time is the collectability aspect. Yeah. Because so many people just collect Pokemon cards you just to collect the cards. Exactly. You gotta 100%. Catch them all. <laughs> and, and, and we'll talk about this in a minute. But again, you talk about original Disney artwork immediately. You say those words, original Disney artwork, collectors, ears perk up yeah. and they're like, I'm in. What I don't I don't even play games. I don't care. Just give it to me. Yep. All right. So one so before we kind of talk about the cards a little bit, um, one other thing I did want to note here is they did talk about this starting off. So this is gonna be a collaboration between Ravensburger and Walt Disney Animation Studios. Yep. So if you're looking to see Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, those seem to be off the table for now. It's just Walt Disney Animation Studios. Um, but again, that's how many years of history to, yeah. to pull from. So many, so many. Yeah. Um, I mean. Can you imagine if they made a Star Wars card game? <laughs> I, you know what? I guarantee, like, if if they got into Star Wars, that would be a light. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it would be. A, game it'd probably it. be a licensing nightmare. Yeah. You know. Um. Again, a lot of this is going to be the legalese because of how much Disney's hand is into so many different entertainment spheres. Mm -hmm. Um. I'd be very interested to know. But, I mean, I'm I'm even okay. A Marvel card game. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> There's a lot. And honestly, the Marvel uh, 2 PCG community is already kind of like, uh-oh. <laughs> They're like, I, they don't know. But again, again, legalese, like you're talking yeah. about how many different licensing deals. Yeah. But again, Disney likes to make money. Yeah. Like they're not going to prohibit themselves from making money. They can make more money. They're going to make more yeah. money. It's not like they're both like magic. Yeah, right? <laughs> are they though? <laughs> are they though? Yeah, they All right. Are. So before... Um, the last thing I, I want to touch on is yeah. how much this game has going for it is Disney. Wow. The fact that you just say that. You say it's what, a Disney. 80 years of stuff? I don't even know Man, how long. A lot. Dude, I mean, we, we've talked we've talked at length about Magic being, what, almost 30 years old now? Yeah. yeah. Um, Magic 29. being the oldest card game. Yeah. Uh, from, a, from, a, from an IP standpoint, not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. No. And that is, that is going to be such... Uh, the, Lorcana is starting off with such a big head start. Mm -hmm. Just from the IP standpoint. They have so many things going for it. Mm -hmm. The IP, how long it's been around. And then you have Ryan Miller who's worked... Who's worked at a successful game company yep. and knows how these games are made. Yep. There's a lot of things going well for it. All right. So before we touch on the cards, is there anything else that you wanted to, to touch on before we talked about that? I don't know. The cards. Like the cards. Before we talk about the cards. Okay. Last thing. Anything? Last thing. They're they're already planning to have a robust organized play system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they they've talked about we don't want to be as competitive, but they're already looking into an OP system. I yeah. mean, they still want to be competitive. Guys, making money. They want to make money. <laughs> yeah. And when you when you talk about TCGs and CCGs, you have to have an OP system. Yeah. You do. Like, that's just, it's one of the staples. You have to have it. And again, you throw up Disney trading card game, so many people are, are, are going to be yeah. in. Now, I don't think you're taking market share away from Magic. Maybe Pokemon? Maybe? Mm. Probably not. Probably not. I don't, so. like, I don't think anyone's losing any market share. Yeah. Like that. That's gonna be. That's gonna be the interesting thing, is who's losing market share here. Uh, all the card games not in the big three. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Maybe. Flesh and Blood. No, I don't think people. Are, I don't think people are gonna be leaving Flesh and Blood to yeah. play Disney and Lorcana. Yeah. But again, it's a completely. Different it, it is. It absolutely is. Um, but so that's kind of all we know. We're gonna touch on these cards a little bit. Um, so. If you want, we're going to talk about the cards in a separate video. Uh, we're going to go more in depth in the cards, and we're also going to talk about this game in a more in depth session on an episode of our podcast. Yes. All right, so those will be linked here once we get around to recording them and posting them. But for now, we have seven cards, seven cards that we've that have been revealed. Mm -hmm. You got Stitch, Elsa, Cruel Deville, Maleficent, Robin Hood, Captain Hook, and Mickey Mouse, yes. each with a sub name, the subtitle. Okay. Couple things that I've noticed, okay? And Jim, you pop in here if there if you're if if you're seeing something I'm not. Yeah. Top left, I'm seeing cost. Yep. I'm also seeing a color. What it looks like. It looks like we have purple, yellow, green, red, blue, and possibly colorless. Yep. 
So again, just like Magic, those five color, right? That is five colors. Yeah. It's probably color, but then also if you look at the icon, they do, they have like different. Yeah, so I, you see I these different icons, is. which I think that's, I think that correlates with the color. That's what yeah. I think. Yeah, um, most likely. Yeah, um, and then we also have power toughness. That's pretty obvious. I think, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a hundred percent power and toughness. <laughs> now, who knows what to call it in game, but it, if we're if talking about magic terms, that's what we're seeing. Um, I am also seeing card abilities. Yep. You got the abilities, the flavor text below them. Yep. Um, what, we've got some keywords. We've, we have keywords in Captain Hook and Stitch, along with ability, the ability names. Um, again, this is all flavor style. The mm -hmm. flavor's there, 100%. Alternative the, cost. Yep, we see an Stitch. alternative cost. Um, and then the last thing that I am seeing that we don't know what it is, the bottom right corner. There are, looks like pen quills. It could be pen quills, it could be something else. Little diamond shapes. <clears throat> yeah, we don't know what that is. My my initial guess, and Two I think, thoughts. I think I think it is a pitch cost. Yeah. So I think you pitch, you, you discard this card from hand to generate those resources to pay for your other cards. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. What was the other thought you had? That was also my first initial thought. Yeah. The other thing is, depending on how much board space you have, say you could have five slots, yeah. right? Stitch would take up three of those slots. Elsa would take up one of those yeah, slots because yeah. they all have different little pips on them. Or a deck building thing. Um, could be a could deck, building, be a deck building requirement. However, you typically see that more with digital card games. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I honestly, if I had to bet on one thing, I would bet on it's a pitch cost. Because yeah. um, again, all we know about the game so far is, is. is this. Yeah. All we know about the game so far are these cards, and these are characters. We don't see anything else. We don't see sorceries. We don't see instants. We, we see nothing. And and there's so much that is going to be there, guys. Yep. And I'm looking forward to it. So that's kind of everything Everything that we know so far. Don't worry, we'll, we'll have other videos where we're gonna talk all about these cards. We're gonna go in depth, as in depth as we can about what we think we know with these cards. And then we will talk all about this game in an episode of the podcast. Yeah. And I hope to get Ryan Miller on uh, for an interview. One day. I, I am, uh, I'm gonna reach out, I'm gonna reach out via email, see if we can get him on an episode of the podcast. That would be sick. Um, but who knows what they're talking about? Who knows what they're talking about so far? And all these cards were spoiled at D23 last weekend. So I've been waiting patiently over the weekend to see what other news articles came out yep. on the topic. So, uh, Jim, any final thoughts? Any final thoughts on Disney Lorcana so far? I'm excited. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. I mean, I mean, look, look at this I know, shirt, guys. I know Dan shirt, and I have been talking about, it's like, oh, what other card games do we want to play on the channel? Well, I know one we're probably We know gonna one play. we're going to play, 100%. <laughs> um, okay, of these cards so far, favorite? Elsa. Elsa. Easiest choice. Um, who do you think I'd pick? Uh, Honestly. Oh, of all the other? Of, I, don't of remember, I don't remember the other ones. We've got Mal Malesticent, Corella, and Mickey. M my favorites here. It, it's Robin. I was going to say, what it's I Rob saw draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like Robin Hood. I love the artwork for Robin Hood, but also I love the artwork for Captain Hook. Dude, that looks, looks so good. I, so again, good. guys, I, oh, I'm, I, I'm so excited, <laughs> and I think this is going to be a very successful venture for Ravensburger and yeah. Disney. Uh, so I'm excited for the future. Uh, you know what? Before we get out of here, one thing we did not mention. Oh. Fall 2023, the yes, when. comes out next year. Fall 2023 with four releases per year. Yep. So all these cards, spoiled, were um, were in a collector set that was available to purchase at D23. They will be in the first set, which is going to be called uh, Disney Lorcana, like the first uh, chapter, I, I believe. Yeah, some, something yeah, along those chapter. lines, the first chapter. All these cards will be included in that set. Uh, so fret not if you did not pick up a copy. If you were not at D23, like I was not, um, <laughs> you can still pick up those cards when this launches fall 2023. So fall 2023, and then, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot more information about the game before then so we can talk all about Disney Lorcana. So that's all we got for today's video. Thanks, everybody. We'll catch you in the next one. See you, everybody. Take care.